Very good, very good. What's up? What's up? How are you? <laughs> I'm good. I'm good. As just as I was preparing, I was like, oh my gosh, I'm so nervous. It's because every time I do the live, you know, different people, and you're like, who's that? Who's that? But I'm fine. I'm fine. Yeah. Half the weather on your guys' side is quite hot here. Yeah. It's, yeah. It's very hot here also. No, no, no. I think uh, you see the winter. I think uh, came quite strong. So summer was like, oh, we're gonna come stronger. This yeah, is, yeah, it's a kung fu in my hand, and <laughs> <laughs> but look, I, I don't know about I'd rather have um warm weather yeah. over cold weather, I can't stand cold weather. Same here, the fashion sucks no. in winter. Yeah, no, we, we must live those lives away when it's winter here. We must be able to jet off elsewhere and just have a summer all year round, right? Yeah, <laughs> yeah. wow. No, guys, um, thank you for affording me the time. I really, really appreciate it. And, of course, as I was saying to Mbakiso, because I went to school with Mbakiso, and I was saying to him, initially when I reached out, I was like, listen, I see you guys. I see what you're doing in your respective spaces. And I think it's, it's really great. It's so inspirational to see a young African couple make you move. Look at you! You can't get enough of each other. Wow, it's so refreshing. It's so refreshing. So I think, yeah, let's kick off. It's just meant to really be a conversation. Um, let's flow with it. Let's have some fun with it. And yeah, so I think just as a start, because obviously you guys, you know, on these social media streets, you are quite well known. And I've picked up a few things from you guys. But I want to hear from you because it's all... Point, point of correction, she's well known. <laughs> And you and him, right? Please tell him. Yes, it's like, it's like a it's like a byproduct. You know, if you have like a sandwich with um with let's say ham and cheese, I mean, you really want the ham, but the cheese just comes along with it. If you know what I mean? <laughs> so I'm the, I'm the cheese, you know. So wow. <laughs> listen, count your blessings because you come as part of it anyway. So I mean, she's always posting you as well. So you are both there, up there. I feel like it's a kingdom that you guys are running there, and I love it. I love it. Thank you. Thank you so much. Awesome. So, obviously, with us, you know, being the people on the receiving end, so people that see what you guys are sharing with us and what you're doing, we've got, obviously, a certain maybe perception of who you guys are. But I want to hear from you guys, and it's not meant to sound like a, a, an interview, a job interview or anything, but <laughs> who is Maxine and who is Mbakiso? I want to hear from your perspective. Um... Okay, let me start with me. Uh, huh. My name is Maxine. I am a beauty entrepreneur. Um, I'm into the makeup field. I am also a... I'm a beauty creative. Let me put it that way. I'm a beauty creative. Done. <laughs> <laughs> wow. And yes. A, and a wife. And a wife. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you needed to remind her, like, please, eh? don't forget. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah. Okay. Wow. I like that, Ms. Maxine. You're saying that you're a beauty creative. I mean, I'll delve into it after um, Bakisa introduces himself, but I really, that stood out for me. I want to get into that as well. Yeah. Cool. Bakisa? Uh, I'm, 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 an, I'm, uh, I'm an African soul, um, nuanced character in the sense that um, a bit of an old, old soul with a lot of new vibes. Um, I'm a creative by nature. I think that's what attracted me to my wife. We, we create, that people who, who are born to, to like, if, if you don't create, you feel like there's something missing. Mm -hmm. um, other than that, I'm a facilitator in di different fields. 
facilitator in terms of connecting worlds in my legal field. Um, yeah, but otherwise, I'm also a husband and um, a lover of fine things. <laughs> oh, oh, that we see. The lover of fine things, we see that. Both of you, I think that's something we have in common. <laughs> I'm going to leave this live red. <laughs> Look, it's worth it. It's worth it. Um, wow, guys, thank you for that intro. And creativity clearly is a common thread between the two of you. And as you say, it's what, I guess, attracted um, you guys to each other. So, Maxine, when you say, as you started speaking, you're a beauty creative, I've seen the work that you do. Like, I've gone on your makeup page and I'm blown away. And I'm like, why don't I live in Botswana so I can get this done as well? You are pure. Wow. <laughs> How did you how did you get into that space and what is it that you enjoy about being a beauty creator? Um well it it obviously started with me. I liked looking presentable, let me put it that way. Um and then that mixed with art. I'm an artist, I do fine art, I draw, I paint, you know, so I just decided to merge the two and put it on the face. <laughs> if I may put it wow. that way. And then I do it on women, you know, growing up, playing with dolls, making dolls look cute. Now I get to do it on women. And um, yeah, I love it because, man, if you could just, every time you see the results, yeah. the expression, you know, the changes that happen when these women see their makeovers. Because I meet all types of women from students, from women who are in the army, from women who are doctors, from women who, you know, uh, divorced young women like it's 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 just a lot mm. you know so it 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 means so much just seeing the difference that it actually makes yeah. you know in their lives and I did it so I I, I love wow it. yeah wow and that's the beauty about creating because you actually get to see what that final result is and in your space seeing what the person actually how they sell it when you look at, I can imagine when they look at themselves in the mirror after the art that you've created on their faces, they cannot believe it. Yes. Mm -hmm. I, I, probably, I probably would not want to shower after that. I would want to sleep <laughs> in my makeup. Just, just yeah. a couple of days. <laughs> women, women have threatened to go a week without wiping their faces off. Oh, but but, but there have been threats. Like, there have been threats. <laughs> yeah. Wow. <laughs> like, neck <make> that. <laughs> <laughs> I would do that too. Totally do that too. Um, and and Mbaki, so I mean, you're mentioning that that's the one thing that obviously attracted you to uh, Maxine, the fact that she's got the creative side to her, which you yeah. also have. Now, in terms of your creativity, I want to find out a bit more about what it is that, you know, you said you, you create. So I want to know what you create. What is it that you, you're doing? Okay, so um, fun fact, uh, Bita. Um, we went to high school together, and um, interesting enough, I'm not sure if you remember, in Form 5, I, I, I got the, the Drama Award, um, because that was, that, was, that was my thing. But in, um, in drama, there were different aspects of, of, of class. There was the, the playwright or scripting, and then there was the acting. Um, I don't mind acting, yeah, that's okay, but um, I'm not a person who, in front of the camera, I'm okay with it, but that's not my... My strength. My strength is directing and you know conceptualizing. So when I got back into bots, um, I set up a, a media company, and um, I, I think I would like to say it is. It's it's not the leading media company, but it's one of the leading media companies. So we do um, a TVCs, uh, photography for multiple companies, including blue chip companies. Um, so we've got like we've done five or six banks, which are also in South Africa, and. We've got um, one or two TV shows which have aired on BTV at our local television station, wow. including one or two in um, uh, what's that? Zambezi Magic on DSTV. So uh, we we um, we just create, and it's it's an interesting space because what people don't realize is there's a lot of thought behind it. Um, you don't just pick up a camera and shoot, uh, and that is another aspect to it. So it's it's multifaceted and it's challenging. It just um, it makes you look forward to the next day, let me say. So, yeah. Wow. That's phenomenal. I think I started seeing, how long has the company, the media company been around? About five years now. Four and a half, five years. Yeah. I think I remember when you started, I'd see a few things, because obviously me, us being friends on Facebook as well, and 
I've seen a couple of things and it must really I remember thinking this must really take a lot to build something like this from scratch and I'm I'm happy to see that it's still something that you're pushing. Yeah. Yeah, no it's it's a sacrifice and more importantly I think what a lot of people don't realize like some things may start as side hustle but whatever whatever you put in um to grow takes time. So if you put in time and you put in love it's a, it's like a relationship. Put time and love into it will flourish generally um so wow. That's how business is, but time and time and, and, and energy and resources sometimes, and it will flourish. Yeah. Yeah. Jeez. Now you're bringing a very important element, um, that time investment that you speak of. Yeah. So obviously both of you are like, and, and this is why I decided with this conversation, it's about you guys building an empire because that's what I feel like you're doing. Wow. Um, you really are. Do you believe it? <laughs> <laughs> Yeah. I, I think we're building each other and our dreams. And sometimes you don't realize your dream is resulting in an empire. So it's a byproduct. If it's an empire, it's a byproduct of the dream. But I, I, I like, I like the, 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 the connection between them. A dream can end up being an empire. So it, it, you made me realize that, yeah, that's critical. I love that. I love that. Now with the, with the time investment that's required, between the two of you, I think you're both excelling in your respective spaces. How do you kind of ensure there's a balance, for lack of a better way to put it, to say there's still us who is the married couple with these dreams and aspirations that we have as well as individuals. So how are you juggling through that? Um, we just make sure that we have a time for work and a time for us. Yeah. yeah. Because when I started my work, I would work every day, yeah. Sunday to Sunday. But then as time went by, I decided that you know what Sundays are just going to be my love days mm. <laughs> and you know even with work midweek hella had a five o'clock 5 p.m no work no emails no nothing this is my attention um, so yeah that's that's <laughs> how it is yeah. wow that's mm. special because you've got to be deliberately intentional right about anything that yeah. you uh you value in your life whether it's your business that you're running whether it's yeah. time with your husband and I mean you guys are a young couple so you are, I guess, you've been together for a very long time. Um, yes. yes. It's going to be 10 years in ten March, years. right? Is wow. it 10? That's 2000 and... Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, eight, nine, ten. Eleven. Yes, 10 years in March. Sure. That's crazy. <laughs> that is a long time. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Yes. Um, yeah, I kept the waiting. But, but how many years of dating? How many... Uh, we've been married for two years two now. And a half years. Yeah, so that means seven and a half years. Seven and a half years dating. Yeah. yeah. And wow. I can tell him that you know he looks better now than he did when we met. <laughs> you know, look you looking all cute these days. <laughs> He's saying I was a guava. I mean, I was a guava when I was young. She's saying I'm just I was a saying guava. that he ages like fine wine. You know, so. Wow. And I mean, who wouldn't with a fine woman like you by his side? Who wouldn't? Who wouldn't? Yeah. <laughs> so, there was a question earlier. Somebody from um, the audience was asking, at what point did you guys envision that, you know, your marriage would become this creative partnership that it is? Like, what did you, did you know from the beginning? Or it was time it came? Very good. good. Okay, um, okay, I'm, I'm going to take that. Mm -hmm. when, you, when you date you come in with varying interests, different interests. And when you date, some people decide we're going to be career people and we're going to put our career first. Right? When we were dating, we, we were studying. I was finishing off my law degree. And I realized she was hella creative. She realized I'm hella creative. And we said, are we going to put this to waste? And we said, the career in terms of the normal nine to five, that's fixed. We're still going to do that and we're still going to prosper. Mm -hmm. But with that artistic side, if we continue the career path, that's going to die off. Mm -hmm. So in order to make that flourish, we are going to create together. So if you look at our original content, you tend to find a lot of our original content. And even like, even right now, whenever we have a photo shoot, whether it's for a bank and whatever, I mean, we've been doing them even throughout the week. Um, I uh, don't want to mention the brands, but yeah, your banks usually have the South Africa symbols on it. She'll do the makeup, we'll do the photography. And it started that way because initially on her, we'd start creating her brand where she did her own makeup and then we, I did photography on her 
And over time, when we started to hire people, they fed into that dream. So, so you need to build a dream together where you say, what are our interests mm -hmm. as a couple? Wow. And what are we, and as I said, whatever you invest time in um, is where you will reap from. So yeah. we said we'll reap from the creativity, not just from the, from the you know, nine to five. Yeah. So, and, and through that, you create multiple streams of income because your check from your day job will come in and it will be good. And you got a fatter check from your, your creative side hustle. Mm -hmm. So people ignore, you know, I always say, um, uh, use your God-given talent. If you're an athlete, don't, don't try to, to do what the nerd has. If you're a nerd, don't do what the athlete is trying to do. Because if you use your God-given talent, like that's fail-safe. God will never, like, imagine chasing after a gold mine when you have platinum underneath you. Like, Woo! so <laughs> yeah, and with me, there was actually a lot of support because when I finished university, funny enough, I had no intention of doing what I'm doing now. So, you know, instead of him pushing me to do a nine to five, you know, instead of him pushing me to use my degree because it was a good degree, good yeah. result, uh, highest yeah. GPA in her stream. <laughs> um, so, I can't even dream of getting a GPA like this, by the way. Yeah, so yeah, so he supported me he supported me throughout yeah um it was something it was a risk i decided to take i didn't even know if it was going to work out or not but he was very mm -hmm. supportive i remember you know 2 a.m would still be at the studio yeah. me doing hey you know him being under the being under <laughs> no actually i was under the table rotating the table While we're filming. to show the wig and he's like filming it yeah. at 2 a.m you know so yeah. the support you yeah. know was 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 great so that's another thing, support your partner in what they do, you know, because that will help them, you know, build their dreams and make it even bigger. Uh, so. And just on that, just to close, Owana Majita, I'll say one thing, men, men, men are very myopic sometimes. When I do let's say a hair brand or whatever it is, and he'll be like, it's just a waste of time. Mm -hmm. but, but, but not knowing that his investment in terms of time and resources Will be will, will catapult that business ten times to what he would do. I, let's say he's running a butchery, or whatever it is. Mm -hmm. yeah. Because I mean, if you look at the trends that are happening right now, um, I think I would like to say beauty cosmetics, the 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 women's women women's retail. A man will make money, take it to the woman, the woman spends it. Mm -hmm. So if anything, take take money to where retail is happening, which is on the woman's um, you know cosmetic space. And that's um, where men are very oblivious. They think it's just a waste of time. And, but times have changed. Guys need to, you know. Wow. Jeez. <laughs> Maxine, you're a lucky girl to have just... I think this morning that... Uh, yeah. I'm a... I'm... You think so? Yeah. <laughs> we're, we're, we're lucky. We're lucky. We're, you're both lucky. You are both very lucky because I think, you know, support... In any sphere of life, wherever you go, the support of the people that are around you is so critical because a lot more than often, that's the thing that actually helps you to thrive, whether you are you know, a, a single parent who's trying to do well at her career, you need the support structure, whether you are, whatever, whatever space you find yourself yeah. in. And to with its family and friends, no matter where it is, I agree with you. Exactly. And I think to have found love and having each other in that way, just fueling each other, being the fuel behind each other or beneath rather, beneath each other's wings is amazing. And now, because, you know, you speak about you didn't want to get into the 9 to 5 we've seen, um, from you, for, in terms of the creativity that you guys do, your families, your immediate families, that they, I'm pretty sure it wasn't always easy for them to understand the path you guys have chosen for yourselves. <laughs> Did you just, you know, what I mean? you know what, as long as me and my man are, we, we believe in this <laughs> Good yeah. question. No, Good funny question. enough, we have very supportive parents. Yeah. Uh, my dad did not understand this makeup thing in the beginning. <laughs> you know, he was wondering why would I decide to put away my tape. So actually, the question he asked me was like, so you mean you went to school all these years just to do makeup? <laughs> and, you know, after a few checks came in, he was like, okay, okay. That makes yeah. sense now. You know, he's a yeah. traditional father, so yeah. if it pays, then he is She'll be supportive. But yeah, both our parents have been very, very supportive. Yeah. They, we have very supportive parents. They do, they you know, do. they let us yeah. do 
us. Yeah. Even with children, I know I'm jumping, you know. <laughs> but even with that's children, fine. our parents are very chilled. Yeah. They don't take pressurize us. They take tell us time. to take our time. When we are ready, they never ask us, when are the babies coming? Not yeah. at all. So it's, it's good because then we yeah. get to do things that work for us, that suit us, that yeah. benefit us, you know, in our way, in our time. Yeah. So, yeah. Wow. So, like you said, you look like you wanted to add something to that? No, no, that's, I mean, that's, she, she got the words, no need for re repetition, exactly what I was yeah. going to say. Yeah, that's yeah. so refreshing. It's so refreshing, and I think it's inspiring a lot of people, which is part of why I have these conversations, because I always feel like, I, I feel like everyone is born a king and a queen, um, yeah. and it doesn't, you don't wake up and it's already there. It also takes time for you to realize it. So yeah. the more we have these conversations, it's touching so many different people, people who are coming from many spaces or families, backgrounds that are not as uh, accommodating. Yeah. And post this interview, they might they may be able to take this and take this and say, dear parents, dear whoever, look at these two. They're thriving. They're doing their thing. So come on. It is possible. So um, I appreciate you guys sharing that with us. Now, I want to know, in, with, with that, what are some of the challenges? Because obviously you guys are here on social media and you do all this work even with the media uh, company but what, what are some of the challenges that you faced being on in the spotlight really being in the spotlight <laughs> answer okay um, <laughs> I'll, I'll be honest huh? um on my side i think it's the the assumption that everybody has or the individuals that know us in the country and a lot of people know my wife there's an assumption that they know me and they know my competencies and space that I'm in by virtue of being, oh, by the way, I'm, I'm Maxine's husband. I am like half the time when I'm on the streets, oh, hi, Maxine's husband. It's <laughs> not, it's, I am like, I am, and, and it's, and, and, and to me, to me, interesting <laughs> enough, that is, that is, uh, I, I see that in the highest regards because that is a blessing and a testimony of how much work this wife, my wife is putting in. And I love that, you know? So, I, I mean, I take that, I celebrate that. Um, but sometimes I think the only con concern sometimes is if, if I do decide to build a brand on a particular area, like my legal area, whether they will say, mm, that's a social media guy. Um, <laughs> as, as, as opposed to saying that he's a competent um, technocrat yeah. or expert yeah. in this area, but but um, interesting enough, it can also work um, for, for my advantage also, I, I guess, when it comes to clientele and, and being um, um, friendly. Because a lot of people want to engage people who are relatable. Mm -hmm. So pros and cons, and to me, it's, it's not even a big, big, big con. Yeah. But yeah, I'm, I'm Maxine's, hu um, Maxine's husband. That's my name. <laughs> I can't say, I can't say there's really been any challenges. I'm not going to lie. There hasn't for me. Not that I can think of any. Yeah. yeah. It's been good. You know, I, love, I love it when I see people and they say hi and I say hi back. And, you what know. about people using your brand? Um, uh, that one is old news. We're so used to yeah, it. We're so, so used to it. it. People will forever. Um, but no, I think she meant us as a couple being yeah. in the spotlight, not like my work and yeah. stuff, you know. So us yeah. as a couple being in the spotlight. Uh, it's been okay. But, it has, hasn't been any challenges. Yeah. So now Except I'm interested. One time. Except for yeah. one time, Woo! except for one time, yeah. we were at a birthday party. Okay, um, of course we only knew the the, the the celebrant, but the other people we didn't know because they were there for the person. And you know, we're dancing, having a good time, and there's this group of people that are sitting in front of us, um, pretending they're taking selfies of themselves, <laughs> yet they are taking a video of us. In the background, yeah, yeah. In my head, I'm thinking, why don't you just like. That's sneaky. That's sneaky. That's, that's sneaky. so sneaky. And then we left. <laughs> yeah. That is so sneaky. Like, that is so crazy. Yeah, but it's, it's, other than that, it's just been cool. Yeah. It wasn't even a big deal anyways, but yeah. <laughs> that is so crazy. I mean, why can't they just ask? I mean, asking, there's nothing wrong with asking, and then you can either say yes or no, but... So, but yeah. no, just in terms of that, you were talking about, um, I think you were touching on just with what you do, obviously being so well known. Do you find that, you know, there's any social media... Oh, he, but this was actually alluding to the fact that your work has been stolen. So is it people stealing your pictures and making you feel like... <laughs> Tell about is it what? Sorry? I'm, I'm saying, is it other people stealing your pictures and pretending it's their work? 
Yes, all the time. <laughs> oh, that's just one part of it. Sorry, there are multiple. Like, multiple, but uh, yo, that's it's okay. One. I just feel like if people same thing to maybe if there's someone right now watching who's creative and the same thing is happening to them, just know that your talent is your talent. No one can ever, you know, do replicate, what you do. So they can they can advertise it with it, but they'll never do it the way you do it. So we're used to it. We haven't seen our stuff on AliExpress, you know. Um, so <laughs> they took wow. our matching outfits and they put their own like different colors of outfits. We looked distorted. It was so funny though. Yeah, I was actually quite tall on that. Uh, they literally put a different body and then they just put our faces. <laughs> It was, it was quite crazy. So I sent it to my designer. I'm like, yo, check this out. We are on AliExpress. <laughs> you made it! Yes! yes. <laughs> it's crazy. Yo, yeah. But it's, I see how, how it's easy for someone. And I like what you touched on, Maxine, when you were saying, just do whatever talent you've been given. Like, focus on that. You don't need to try and be like somebody else. No one and I think take it away from you. Yeah, no one. The only person who can take away your talent from you is you. Otherwise... Ain't bothered. <laughs> yeah. 100%. And yeah. I think it also speaks to, as much as that's like a, it's like you see it and you're like, but why, why are people so crazy about Gandhi? You know? Um, but I think it, it speaks to also the way you guys are, which word can I use? I think you excel. You are so, I think the attention to detail that you, you in, invest in everything, we see it and it's always, I remember I loved your, the, the Don't Rush Challenge video that you created. Yeah. Listen, I was like showing my all my friends. I was like, please see this. This is the best one I've seen. Yeah. Best. So yeah. it must take a lot of time to also be able to do those sort of things. You guys, you sleep. Yeah. Do you sleep? Mm. What? We um, started filming from five p.m. We finished at ten p.m. Yeah. And and funny enough, we didn't even think it was gonna take that it long. Didn't take that long. Up until we, uh, they were like, "Yo, this is social media boys." <laughs> But we enjoyed it we nonetheless. You know, we had, we had fun. fun. So it looked like so much fun, and I was like, "Ooh, I, I must get myself a boo as well. I want to create this too." Like, try a boo, let a double date to go Yeah, please. It's gonna happen by the time you know the world opens up properly again. Get a regular guys. Are you in? Kio mo tia? Are you in? Okay. Prayer Sunday hands on that. Prayer Sunday hands on that. Amen. Amen. I receive with an open heart, with an open heart. <laughs> um, in terms of the stuff, I know we, we, we're talking about like your creativity and how you're finding time and trying to balance each other out, supporting one another. Um, what are some of the things that outside of what we see, what are you each individually most passionate about? What am I passionate about? Passionate about you. Yeah. <laughs> oh! Hey! Hey! <laughs> um, gosh, what is it? I, I don't know, man. It, it can also look if if it because also if I you're one of those people. Something. Okay, go I'm, for it. Something she she we've never talked about, but I I've picked out. Um, she's passionate about setting trends. Oh, and and oh. that's something people don't like, like, and and pushing the envelope in a in a very I don't want to say we're a conservative country, but in a place which um, tends to be we're followers, Botswana, Botswana are followers. I'm just being honest in terms of like even in terms of a wide range of of issues, in terms of laws, in terms of um, lifestyle, in terms of culture, in terms of. Uh, you know, so so sometimes in such a small landlocked country, it's important to stay ahead, and and I, I and I think that's something I've picked up from her. She. I wouldn't say it's setting trends. I mm. would say I like inspiring. That's okay. it. Yeah, not setting trends, but just to inspire. And if others follow, hey, why not? You know. <laughs> wow! Wow! Yeah, you're actually very good at it. We can do it also, you know, in a small little country. Hey, we got it also. We can do it. <laughs> yeah, which yeah. is so great to see. I, mean, I have a lot of friends from Botswana, and I know it's quite a small country, but to see you just doing these things that you, you actually, how I would describe it, I think you're making waves. Even in a landlocked country, you're making waves. Hey, okay, pass it on, pass it on. Wave, wave. I'm taking that. <laughs> hey. hey, I like that. <laughs> Yeah. I love it. And 
and, and I love how playful you are with one another as well. It's so refreshing. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, you've got to stay young. Um, yeah. I, think, I think that's where people lose it um, a lot of times. You've got to have yeah, fun. Yeah, people are too serious, man. Don't be yeah. serious. Like, just yeah. enjoy life. Stick to your own lane. Yeah. Do you. Mind your own business. You know, the world <laughs> can say what it says. The world can. Yeah. It's not that people don't say negative things, but yeah. we do us, you know. Yeah. Yeah. You do you, you, you won't get any wrinkles. Now I'm saying. <laughs> Woo! Look, listen. Speaking about wrinkles, Maxine, yeah. you do not look a day over 17. <laughs> uh, no. You've got to tell us the secret. I've said that. Um, <laughs> let me tell you what the problem I'll tell you. Uh, and I'm going to be oh, frank so with you. Funny. It sucks, but. Why, thank you. Well, it sucks, but it's genetics. Uh, <laughs> you, you, I'll just be honest with you. Um, you can't fight genetics. And you know, there was a time, um, I think five years ago, where I, I couldn't remember. go to a mall. There's a three year difference, a gap between her and I. Oh, I am 28, by the way. He is 31. 31. Yeah. So there was a time yeah. I couldn't go to a mall with her when she didn't have her makeup on, because, especially when I was in a suit. Yeah. Because yeah. Cause, cause I would look, let's say, 30. And she would look 17. And people would just And people would stare. People would look there's at a, him. Like, a guy just stared at me. That's why I throw Liana. I'm saying like, like, shame on this man. Uh, <laughs> then, I was like, then I was like, no, okay. I'm not going to mow with you in a suit. I am, I'm going to change it home. And then we'll go, we'll go shopping. Oh, that's so funny. Yeah. And I mean, when, when she doesn't have the makeup on, I'm pretty sure, yes, of course, the suit made a difference. But when she doesn't have makeup on, she looks like a baby, a baby and I'm like... A baby. So yeah, that's, that's also... And, and I think um, also says a lot about human, human beings, like, uh, accept your nature. Um, mm. if, if you're a big girl, you've got curves, love them yeah. and find a way to make it work. We're short, if you by were the short, way. We're a very short couple. She knows that we went to school, so whatever you have, just make it work for you. And I'm shorter than him, so yeah. we are a small couple. <laughs> People meet me all the time, they're like, yeah. You're so small. <laughs> Listen, dynamite comes in small packages. Dynamite. That's what it is. I was I was asking myself actually as um I was selecting pictures when I was creating the poster. I'm like, you know, I know that he's so short because I went to school with him, so I remember. Yeah. And I'm like, all the time, <laughs> makes, makes me, whether she's in heels or whatever, she's still shorter. And I'm like, how oh, short is she? Oh man, I love it. I love my height. I wouldn't. Yeah. Use change it for anything so, and you know it's, it's even nicer when you know small people are out here you yeah. know killing it let me just yeah. put it like that you know yeah. even in school i remember i when i got an award for the best in art i was the only girl who got it and i was the shortest one who got it so and i remember when i started my speech when i received it i was like god bless me with height <laughs> <laughs> wow yeah, that's, uh, that's funny because i know a lot of short people always feel so insecure a lot of short people don't like when people say they're short and i'm thinking what is wrong with that yeah and that, you know? and that resonates with big girls yeah. big guys it resonates big with big girls big guys um, no but but I leave towards it. They didn't say bad. There's nothing wrong with it. <laughs> so so own own, own what it be. Own it. Thrive, yeah. yeah. So I love that because I think we're living in a world where you know we see so many different things. Like we'll see you guys, and suddenly we want to be short. Like how you can't be short. You were not born that way. So we put so much pressure on ourselves to yeah. be a different type of way. And I love that you guys are emphasizing that whatever shape, color, size you yeah. come in embrace yourself and i think you know the confidence once you've embraced that as well is just the confidence that you shine like the world up with is out of this world it's crazy so yeah. thank yeah. you for that yeah same thing I with think... makeup like now i i funny enough people get surprised every time i see this i apply makeup twice in a month this is me all the time yes i apply twice in a month and i make sure that i just shoot content shoot content and release it three times in those, in those two yeah. days yeah so I am confident in, because then by doing that also, it made me pay attention to taking care of my skin, taking care of my face, you know, because before then, ah, when my mom asked me to go to the tech shop, <laughs> <laughs> but now yeah. this is me throughout, throughout, so, yeah, and I, yeah so. Jeez, so you're saying that all the stuff that we've seen you put up, it's only been two days, is that like two long days of shooting? Yeah. <laughs> not long but yeah <laughs> multiple content multiple within content, a day yeah. it's, it's a very efficient method of of working so you mm. focus on efficiency as opposed to 
work smart this is yeah work smart yeah wow you know i i think we're also living in a time where you can do and be anything that you want to be so you can juggle so many things but you've got to work smart as you say if you have to schedule something in you got to make sure that you make the time otherwise it's not going to fall from the sky it's not going to it's not going to happen so mbaki so are you are you currently practicing as an attorney are you doing any of that work yes i am um i've funny enough i've never stopped <laughs> from the time i started the only difference is uh, changing the nature of work uh, i was in litigation when i first started for about the first 3 years of my life then i lectured for about 3 years and oh. then for another 3 years i've been um in uh, the equivalent of sars which essentially is your your uh, tax authority yeah. so yeah i'm um i i i specialize in tax and customs so i draft and create legislation so i write law basically very interesting it's a very interesting field and it, there's an element of creativity to it which people really don't know so it's a creative aspect of law where you you finesse things finesse words and that's yeah. that's part of my dna so i enjoy it wow i think i feel like you got 48 hours in a day we have 24 you have 48 <laughs> you you create time Wh- whatever you, whatever we can allow whatever you want and i always say like if if you really want something you make time for it that's one thing people genuinely don't don't understand mm-hmm. and um i mean the honest truth is um sometimes yes uh, you, there's compromise with your partners like um the instances where you come home and you carry work which you don't want to do with your partner and you, you um some people just get into it but you just have to talk and say okay this at this point in time this is what i'd like to do and you know yeah Yeah. So I think that's what it is. Um she even created like a little bit of a cute space for me at all. I did. She... For his birthday, I decided to juice up his uh office at home so that he works comfortably and yeah, make sure and I she... put a, I put a little couch there for myself so ah, I can she put a couch in my <laughs> I got a study. She put a couch in my study. It was a trap. I thought it was for me, but now she spent more time on that couch <laughs> while I work. <laughs> So yeah. she's like lazing like she's like a lazy cat while staring at me while I work and uh, so, so, um, you have yeah. to you have to feed into each other's uh, spaces and I think that's what um you know people don't don't do enough of mm-hmm. understand yeah. understand your partners um the priorities and make yourself a priority but understand what it is that they do and feed into it instead of saying ah that's her thing let her do it alone mm, you know? yeah or not show any interest in what they do and what your partner does so wow that that is so special that is so special because i think also it's very you know we are a generation that can become very self centered and oh, it's me in me so this is the way i do things so well you sort yourself out and that's why we obviously also see an increase in the number of marriages and relationships that don't work because you're not bringing each other into each other's worlds you know you're just living yeah. these different and you're yeah. like i nah, this is what i'm about you know that and it fits people lack couples lack support and communication so those are the two basics of and i i don't know i don't know, i hope i'm not generalizing but i'll be honest and say men our default setting and mode is that we are not good communicators i i don't know if that's if if you've experienced that but we especially i mean i grew up in a family of three um two brothers the three brothers as of course dead i grew up in a family of two sisters i am the second one i have two sisters so it's three girls i'm the second one it's and three boys is the second one and we oh wow. you was rooting in the stars okay yeah. <laughs> yeah and 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 men men we 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 don't we don't know how how important communication is and the function of it we just believe in doing action and you know in terms doing an actions in terms of your actions will show love as opposed to communication and we undermine that mm-hmm. so so i had to learn that um sometimes i don't want to say the hard way but you know through a bit of you know laughter and pain though because naturally the instances where i would um you know she would be happy about the the, the yeah. bad and you know so 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 i think with women there a bit of patience in terms of teaching men that Yo, if we are part, you talk every day. Oh how, yeah. How good morning, oh, a, a good morning text. Make sure you call me at mm. night, mm. at lunch time, check on me. That kind of stuff. And unfortunately, I think some um, ladies because of the Instagram generation, they expect to find men who automatically arrive like that. And mm-hmm. most men who arrive Yeah, say that. 
Let it get I, yo, my bad. I don't mean to say, but most men who arrive like that, who arrive ready made, you know, they've been doing it with multiple women. You yeah. know, but but um, I think women need to invest in in growth with 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 men because we're so far mm. behind. We're so far behind mm. in many things. Yeah. You know? Sure. And I mean, you said that you when you started responding, then you said you needed to learn. Yeah. Um. The effort, obviously, anything that you start doing that's outside of the norm, outside of what you're used to, will take a bit of a an effort, you know, and so, eventually yeah. becomes second nature, I'm sure. And what did it have to do? Like, would you guys maybe, I mean, what did it have to take? Was it you guys having to sit down and say, okay, now we're having a formal meeting about this? Or would you raise whatever issue you've got at that point in time and talk about it right then and then? Or how did it go? Everything. Formal meetings, threats. Threats. I've been Threat. threatened. Um, uh, you know, it's wow. Where did I threaten you? No, no, play, I'll play. I, mean, I, mean, I mean, I mean, like not, it not wasn't in, threats. indirect. It threats. wasn't threats, Peter. Um, when I finished uh, university, I told him that the day I put down my pen, I am moving in. And the day I finished writing, I moved in. Okay. <laughs> he put my bags. I'm like, I'm here. Where do I put them? <laughs> <laughs> yeah but he, yeah. he got used to because you know as a bachelor you know playstation all the time your friends there all the time and then now your girlfriend is going to be there permanently he wasn't sure how to i don't know yeah adapt to that. adapt to that but he did and the other day he did say that was the best decision ever so yeah. first wow. decision it was the best decision <laughs> now nah, i mean you know <laughs> You know, women are wise, hey? She, she's a wise woman, so she knew. She, yeah. had, she had to put her foot down, and you will later on realize, actually, that was amazing. Thank you. True. So, Very true. And I loved how, so when I first approached Mbahisa about the conversation, throughout consistently, if he shows you the messages, the conversations that we had, he would always say, okay, um, I'm going to speak to my wife. Speak to my wife. Whether it, it was the time, it was date, he first had to consider you. He can't just say yes to me just because I went to school with him and whatever, but he's got to speak to his significant other because, you know, you guys are a family, you're a unit. Yeah. So yes. Yes. do you guys, like, do it that way? So even with making decisions about business, whatever the case is. Everything. Everything. Wow. Mm -hmm. Everything. Communication. We communicate. We've made it a fundamental part of our lives. Because we started doing it, I, we met when I was 18, he was 21, and since then, we just make sure that we talk about everything, and anything, so. Yeah. That is something special. That is really something special. And in picking the brands that you then choose, um, Laura of Kiki asked the question earlier on, just in the audience, she was asking, how do you guys then decide which brands you're going to align to or with? Mm. Um, in terms of work, right? Um, yeah. we, uh, to be honest, we, we can work with anything as long as it, <laughs> it falls within what we do. Yeah. Um, we love traveling. We love creative things. I love beauty. He loves, um, his creative stuff yeah. also. So and even working with you, essentially, yeah. you, you represent um love you represent marriage marriage um, yeah. you, so it just has to align to our 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 vision and our dream and mm. if it resonates with that then so anything really food travel uh, decor oh, we love eating. we love food yeah. everything you know yeah. so that's what we always say like if people want to work with us just don't think we won't be interested in what we do what you do just give it a try yeah. we'll see if it's within us or not if it's if it is we'll work with it if it's not we'll also let you know that it's you know yeah yeah and be honest about it we'll be honest about it which is good which is important yeah. and you touched on travel you guys like you had this photo shoot when with your wedding and i was just like go oh. um okay. we haven't <laughs> I mean, this is a different year, COVID-19. How has that, obviously there's no travel, you can't leave the country. How have you been able to then still continue to feed that side of you as a couple? Because it's something that you enjoy doing. So with the lack of the ability to travel, how have you been able to feed that? Well, funny enough, we actually got it out of our system because we traveled beginning of the year. <laughs> and like March. A month, a month before covid so when we got back, we hear there's COVID. We're like, oh, you know. Yeah. Yeah. So. <laughs> yeah. So, so I, 
yeah, I think we're fortunate. In fact, funny enough, we were we left Asia and we found we, there were a couple of Asians wearing masks in the flight. And uh, and I said to Max, why are I like I know sometimes Asians wear masks in a flight, but there's more than one. And this was like <laughs> right at the big. That was when like you know we had one or two rumors in the anyway. Cut long story short, so we got that out of the system. But more importantly, for a fun fact, I always say we find ways to have fun indoors. Indoors, yeah. So we we found like we uh, even the don't rush challenge is part of and that kind of stuff. The challenge that part of us having fun indoors. Um, like random cook days where we you just have indoor dinner dates. It's it's just you just got to create your own joy, I guess. Mm. And I mean, it it doesn't hurt that a lot of that money is going to savings, which means we're happy too. So you know, wow. and we get to explore our country. You know, yeah, it's actually a blessing in disguise because now we get to see things here which we never thought about. So it's good. Mm. Which I'm which I'm such a big believer of. I always say, you know, it's so important to know the space that you come from, whether space is relative, right? It could be just the town. It could be the country itself. It could be the continent, Africa. So yeah. it's great to see the world. And I think now we've kind of been forced to say, no, where you come from is amazing. Just give it a shot and see and explore. And you start to discover gems and you're like, huh? Okay. I don't know this place. Yes. So, <laughs> so true. Uh, I think it's, it's been the cool. other day that of all places I've been to, I haven't properly been to Kasani. He's been there so many times, so that is my next. And that's that's the yeah. gem of Botswana. Like that's that's where your your Prince Harry and um, Meghan Markle and Jack Ma and like your your A list Zuckerberg mm. will go to in Africa for you know to get away for safari. So so I think yeah we need to. We need to enjoy what uh, everyone around the world has been enjoying, which we haven't been enjoying. Yeah. Oh wow! Absolutely. I, I saw someone in the comments was just saying she 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 watches you guys all the time. She sees your stuff and all the way from Somalia. She said she's loving wow. what you guys are doing. Um, so keep making those waves within your country, and I think the ripple effect is being felt elsewhere so across the continent. It's yeah, yeah doing great work. Um. Just from a, while we're on this COVID topic, from a business perspective, for you, Maxine, how has that, because obviously that's impacted, there's not, you know, many gatherings, people aren't having weddings. Okay, things are starting to ease up now, but then how has that impacted your business and how have you been able to still kind of keep on doing what you're doing? Funny enough, uh, it actually didn't affect my business wow. at all, which is so weird because <laughs> women are still out here slaying COVID or no COVID. <laughs> Yeah. yeah, so I think also because a lot of women now are doing like meetings at home, Zoom meetings, so they want to look presentable, yeah. you know, mm -hmm. I still get people who still want to celebrate their birthdays at home. So yeah. it's, 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 it's only weddings, but I also do have um, clients or brides who still have like small gatherings. So it hasn't really done much of a difference. Yeah. Jeez, that's special. I, I thought like, I'm, I'm like in this time, people are going anyway, they're indoors, so like... <laughs> No, 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 no. You would we, be surprised. We late till, huh? Forever and ever. COVID, Amen. COVID is now, but drip is forever. <laughs> oh! <laughs> forever drip, we drip in. Yeah. I, I, I feel like if I was in Botswana, you would have done my face for this conversation. Like, I would have... Yeah. 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 I'm going to say, girl, please transform me. I want to look like a million bucks as well. Yeah. Sure. <laughs> wow. Um, guys, you know what? I'm really appreciative of the time that you've afforded me. And I think also to say thank you to the audience that's connected. And just to let you know that I will save this onto my IGTV for anyone who wants to maybe view it later. Yes. Um, and you guys really keep doing what you're doing because I think even when you're not aware, so things like having these conversations obviously has a ripple effect in so many different people's lives, but just keep on sharing the stuff, the fun stuff that you share with us the stuff that really makes us, you know, believe that it is possible. Like African child, it is possible. It is. So yeah. thank you for that. I really, really thank appreciate you. it. Thank you so much. Thank you. We really appreciate the opportunity. <laughs> and uh, one last question for you. Um, where, do you see you, um, where do you see yourself taking the Royal Corner essay? And what are your dreams and aspirations? We're very curious so that we can feed into that and share love too. Wow. <laughs> 
okay. <laughs> you know, I so normally because I do all the question asking whenever, and you know what, in these conversations, I have people randomly asking me something. I'm like, oh gosh, I didn't prepare for this. But it's a, <laughs> Yeah, it is. Idea. It is, after all, a conversation. Like I've said to you, so it flows. It's just meant to flow. But the Royal Corner, I'll give you a bit of history around it. Where it was born from is, so I've always been the kind of person who's very also intentional about certain things, and I enjoy um, reading things that really force me to dig deeper and that make me rise up to the queen that I am. And mm-hmm. with doing that. I then decide to share with other people. So that's always been a thing that I would do. So earlier this year, I decided, you know what? My Instagram is already, I put up all of this inspirational stuff, whatever it is. And I'm very yeah. passionate about bringing yeah. out, or helping to bring out the best in people. Very passionate about that because I think we can all thrive as soon as we realize what we have, the gifts that you guys spoke about. Yeah. So then I decided, and it's so funny how it happened. Um, I decided in... Mark, I actually started in January, but I didn't have the courage to do it. To start, what I started with was initially just doing, um, recording videos and clips about whatever. I remember one of the topics I spoke about was procrastination and how that steals so many dreams and kills so many things because you just leave. So then, so I was, it was there, but I was like, oh, I'm not courageous enough. It's me putting myself out there. How are they going to receive me? So there was that bit of anxiety that it came with. And then, in March, just before lockdown, I did not know lockdown was coming, just before lockdown, then I decided, you know what, I'm actually going to have also people that I'm going to bring onto this platform that I'm going to interview as kings and queens that are doing well in their respective spaces. And I was quite intentional about it. I literally listed everyone I wanted to speak to. And you guys were on that. Literally, I had a list of 10 people. You were on that t- top 10, just so you know, like Let's seriously. See. Um. And it was always, you know, at the right time, I'll approach the people. It's fine. And I, I, it's because I see something in you that I believe by having you on this platform, we're able to touch many other lives. So that's how I did that. And it's forced me to step out of my comfort zone. Yeah. I know every weekend, there's, there's every single weekend, I have to dedicate a time slot to doing this. Um, initially, I started with 3 o'clock on Saturday afternoons, but then I realized that okay, as lockdown levels are easing down, people don't necessarily have, they're not sitting down, they're out yeah. about doing whatever. So I'm kind of in a space where I'm exploring to see what time works. That's why, like you saw, when we're trying to bet down a time, I was like, you tell me what time works, so I'm just trying to see what time um, works for, for the people that connect. But yeah. to answer you very briefly there, to say, where do I see it? I see it as, I always say, I believe I'm the next Oprah Winfrey. No. Um, but but we see i i see that um you see it's it's about drive and passion you know drive like sometimes your passion pushes the drive so yeah so um i'm i'm, I'm loving what you do um with Melo, and um this is a beautiful space keep it going yes. and um and, you know it, it knowledge and 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 sharing is what we don't do enough in this world so. yeah just start that's 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 the key mm. start absolutely and here you are yeah cool. absolutely and you'll be surprised like you know when Bakiso started asking me that question i was like oh my gosh he's putting me on the spot but i was like you know what he's saying say it say it out loud vocalize it so we can see how we actually and it's amazing how the universe and things tend to align the minute you've decided to when you've taken that step and then you're speaking to people as well, and things just find a way to come together. So, okay. thank you for that. Thank you. Yes. Thank you. <laughs> ah, man, you know what? I've got to say, I've got to also say, of the interviews, I think I've done about, um, it's probably my 14th one now. And today we've had the most engaged and connected audience. So it speaks a lot to who you guys are. All I'm seeing on my screen as I'm looking at the comments, I'm, so, I'm sure you've been seeing them. It's just hearts everywhere and people saying, oh, we love you. So yeah. it speaks to who you are as a couple and as individuals who are doing well in the respective spaces. Thank well, you. Thank you so much. Ruben. Yeah. Cool. So I'll save it. I'm going to save it on my IGTV and then I will also share a link with you because normally I also upload it on my YouTube if that's okay with you guys. Cool. We're good. Okay, great. 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 Yeah. All right. No. Cool. And um, 
Yeah, see you soon in either Botswana or SA when I f- that somebody has found me. We shall be double dating. <laughs> we'll make yes, time we'll and make vice versa. Sure. Let us know when you're here. <laughs> hey, I missed that last part. I'm saying we'll make time and let us know if you come over. We we'll, would love to have dinner or lunch. All right. Awesome stuff. Thank you so much. And enjoy the rest of your Sundays and love days. Enjoy the rest of your love days. Thank, Thank you. you so Thank you, everyone. Thank you, people. Ciao. <laughs>